This is Akron, the world's first meta time strategy game. In addition to the mini-map, Akron also has a map of time. The timeline shows a summary of what is happening at every point in time, and is also the control used for time travel. The time of my team color, which is currently light blue, indicates my current time position. The red line indicates when my opponent is. During a battle, the damage received is shown in red in the timeline, and the damage I dealt is shown in blue. The bars representing the events in the timeline show the magnitude of the event. The player's ability to change the past is limited by the available chrono energy shown by this bar. When a player goes to the past, issuing a command to the unit consumes some of the chrono energy. The further in the past the player is, the more chrono energy a single command consumes. I can also change the rate at which I move through time. As you can see, units move twice as fast. This allows me to cover more of the timeline in a short amount of time. I can also slow my progress considerably to issue more precise commands. Jumping ahead, I see that my changes have not yet taken effect. This is because changes in history are not instantly propagated through the timeline, but instead are brought forward via these evenly separated time waves. When a time wave moves forward, it takes with it any changes to the timeline. Now when this time wave comes through, as shown by the blurred movement, we now see the outcome of my previous orders. When a unit is near a chrono porter, it may travel through time. I will now take these units and send them back into the past. I am now back in the past and have these extra units from the future. I can set them all to follow this one commander so I can control them as a group. The flashing red indicates that I was not there to witness the damage I received. I can jump back to any point in the battle to witness or change the outcome myself. 